that way you can just use the scale over here to scale it down or the uniform scale to scale it down if you're actually scaling all the three axes you can just use the uniform scale instead of using the single channels over here now I wouldn't even plug it in first cause for one if you remember on the on the example or uh, everything scales up as you go forward and um, it scales to be smaller as it goes to the back over there so actually we're gonna redo that whole thing in VOP so we're gonna have to dive back to the VOPs up over here so we have to create an attribute that tells the guys what to you know want to do now being that we pretty much got everything set up for the colors now we need to set up the what you call it the attribute now it won't be really too hard to do that cause now we all we need to do is get the I can go back up now and just visualize this we need to get the point position from here and get the difference between here and here and get the value in between and map that up to a zero to one range and once you get that you can actually scale the cubes accordingly to that now being that it's in Bob's it's gonna be pretty easy why is that because you already got a node called the distance Bob right now you can calculate the distance in between the original points so the original points are the ones coming in from the global that's the original text that you put it out from the scatter right then you're gonna calculate the new distance from the with the new displaced points right so once you get the distance in between pretty much everything over here is 0 to 1 so you really don't have to worry about refitting the whole thing to a 0 to 1 range so what's left is actually just on the geometry go ahead add an attribute of which uh the attribute over here p on the keyboard you can name it anything so i'm gonna name mine uh rescale right and pretty much that's it for the attribute so if i go back up now i got an attribute over here which is a float value as you can tell by the number one over there it's called rescale so now we can under here under the copy shop we can stamp the feature stamp the whole attribute up so we're gonna call this um size or scale pretty much any name that you want to but uh make sure you remember the same you use the same name on the token above now we're gonna use a point expression to get the uh, attribute value from right here you can use a point expression or if you don't want to do okay i'm gonna just showcase this again well is it again no yeah i guess so we're gonna use a point expression of which the point expression asks asks for a string surface node of which that's the vop that we just have right above us and uh the floating point number is every single point so you're gonna put a dollar pt dollar pt representing every single point uh on the node right and the string attribute name is uh rescale just like we named it named it over there so rescale right and the default the full index is zero being that it's a float value and enter and pretty much all the data is flowing through now it's an attribute but it's okay if you do, if you actually want to have it as a uh, glow something that's actually mapped out having a variable mapping to it all you gotta do is come over here right before the vops up just drop in an attribute create attribute create over here and name it uh, rescale just like so like that rescale exactly the same way you named it earlier now from right here off the top Houdini is gonna give it a variable mapping called rescale of which everything over here remains the default cause it's a point class it's a float attribute it's a one float attribute so everything remains the same now vops over here vops being that vops overrides the as you know the data is flowing down so obviously vops is just gonna override the data so right now you still have a vop at rescale value but vops just wrote all the data into this now if you come to the uh, node over here you can just do the dollar sign and write rescale right there okay it's red but it, it's actually flowing as it is so you can see it's actually green you can see it's actually flowing if I disable the attribute create and come over here you see that it's red because it doesn't know if anything like that so eh, just what I you know put that over here too so we got the data flowing in through the scale uh, variable over here. So we're gonna plug in the boxes to the points. So now we got a whole lot of boxes, whole lot of boxes. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy down because uh, he's not really essential no more. 
Now we need to scale these boxes down using the stamp feature using the scale over here. So we're gonna come over here and uh, at the uniform scale, we're just gonna use the uh, expression. So we're gonna say stamp. And uh, what we're gonna be stamping? The copy swap, right? And what's the token? We called it size or scale. I can't even remember myself. And oops. Is that a point? And zero for the default value and enter. Now, what did I do wrong? I forgot to put the little things over there and enter. Now, it does the thing as it's supposed to, of which it's, it's ooh, it's scaling them down, of which even goes down to zero pretty much. So, really, I don't think you want anything like that. So, actually, under the copy shop, you might want to. You know, kind of go to the end and multiply this by a number. So I should have checked on this. Your point one, and actually that does the trick. Uh, but I would say over here we can actually add 0 0.01. So that way, you know, if they get scaled up a little bit, because they were actually being scaled down, scaled down to zero, being that they're right on the same point. You know, logically when you think about it. Some of the points are actually on the same same position they were originally, so they get scaled down to zero, being that they have a zero attribute on them. And pretty much that's the effect as it is. Now, if you remember, now why did I do that earlier? I should have just left it. Uh, I'm gonna take this down to composite view, and I have to go back up to object level. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually drop in a color for this. So uh, actually, since I got this, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop in a ramp parameter of which I'm gonna just get the value straight off of, out of the luminance get the value out plug this in over here and drop that out as a color right here so now you can have the scale in such a way that the guys on the back are green or white then as the scale up okay of which I'm actually show that uh, they're actually white and the ones on the front are actually like uh, uh, Oops, one orange. Okay, so the ones in the back are white and the ones in the very front are orange. So all you need to do now, okay, the data is actually flowing in as it is. Uh, even though you don't have to actually do this, if you drop in an add, when you actually visualize, want to visualize the point data, you can actually, under particles over here, add particle instances. So now you can see that the ones in the back are white and the ones in the front are actually orange so I mean depends on whether you want the effect or not now in our case we want that on the boxes so all you need to do is go under the attribute on the copy stamp under the attribute just make sure use template point attributes so that way everything gets flowed brought in from the from the VOPS app over here now of which uh, being that in the original uh, modo uh, example they had a white background we really cannot use a white background but uh, black we will do in our case being that we you know we have to do something different anyway so I mean pretty much I'm done when you you know logically or not think about it I don't think I'm done if anything <laughs> looks kind of cool oh uh, that's kind of cool uh, probably need to add some white probably need to add some orange or something or for one I can actually get the original font and I'm gonna do an attribute transfer so the attribute you get an attribute transferred we're gonna get the attribute transfer from uh, okay for one this is where you get the attribute to attributes to and this is the from attribute so this one get plugged in right here and this one get plugged in right here and this one gets plugged in right here on the front the original font that we had okay so this one is gonna be given a white color being that it's gonna be getting the point color directly and now we can actually just go ahead and merge the whole thing down so, the, so that way you get both of them showing at the same time now the if you remember if I actually go ahead and go to the guys over here I can actually move this guy and who didn't just crash on me Ooh, but uh, pretty much does the effect as it is. I won't even go no more because it just crashed on me. So um, I really can run, render anything, but hopefully that's the end of the tutorial. I don't know. I won't even try to recreate the whole thing. So um, 
I'm done. I'm done. So, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Who didn't you just crashed on me? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go check on the file room. I'll be right back. <laughs>